We have the courage of a dandelion to push past the storm when the spring joy is rising. Dandelion is one of the first spring greens. Believe it or not, this plant is a commercial crop. Its leaves are sold in gourmet markets. Italians have used them for years. These leaves are full of vitamins and minerals and are a good tonic to get your body going after a sluggish winter. Collect them around mid-March. After that, they become too bitter. When I put them in salads, I mix them with other greens so that their bitter taste doesn't dominate. You can cook them, but I find they still are somewhat bitter, so I prefer to use them uncooked. The best thing about them is that they're ready very, very early in the season, so you can eat these greens long before cultivated vegetables are available. My favorite part of the dandelion is the flower. There's something about them that really makes me feel that spring has come when I see their smiling faces. They're just so bright and colorful. They're like miniature suns come down to earth. The flowers are the main ingredient in dandelion wine. You need hundreds of them to make it, but that's one way to get rid of them. No matter how you use them, be sure that the flowers haven't been sprayed with herbicides for obvious reasons. Dandelions don't discriminate. They'll grow anywhere. Here, they're hugging the wall by this school. I use the flowers to make fritters. I usually leave a bit of the stem on so I can hold and turn it upside down. And you can see it has like a little skirt and then hanging down from that are little green sepals. These are bitter, so what I do is I pick them off while I'm in the field, so that's one less thing that I have to do when I'm at home. And now this is ready. I don't pick all of the green off, because if I did, then the flower would completely disintegrate. Pick your flowers and then immediately go home, because these tend to not keep very well at all. Now the dandelions are ready to cook. I've made my fritter batter with one egg beaten with a little bit of milk added into it. If you don't want to add, to add milk, you can add soy milk or almond milk, whatever. And now I'm going to take the dandelions and just dip it into the liquid and dip it into breadcrumbs, which could be flavored if you want, and get them all set. Once the fritters are breaded up, I'm going to put them into some butter that's been heated up so that they can brown up. These handles come in handy, as you can see. This is a way that I can not get burned and I can hold them. I didn't mention before that if you didn't want to use eggs, you can use egg replacer. Just follow the directions on the package for that. So I'm now going to wait until these are golden brown. It takes maybe two minutes or so. It looks like these are ready. So I'm going to take them out and put them on a piece of paper towel to drain the excess oil. This makes a perfect finger food. Just don't eat the stem. It's not edible. Dandelion is one of those plants that has been useful throughout the ages. It's just got a bad rep recently, but I think more and more people are now realizing that the dandelion has a lot to offer. In the springtime, there are at least 10 festivals that celebrate the dandelion. So hopefully this much maligned plant will gain better press as the years go on. The dandelion root is tinctured and used as a liver tonic and digestive aid, and also as a caffeine-free coffee substitute. The best time to collect the roots is in spring or fall. To process, wash and put them aside to dry. Then cut the roots into small pieces. Put them in a shallow baking dish 
and roast in an oven at a low temperature until they turn dark brown. This will take about one and a half hours. Stir often so they don't burn. Grind them into a powder in a blender or coffee grinder and store in an airtight container. To make dandy root coffee, cover one teaspoon powder with one cup boiling water and let sit for a few minutes. Then add milk or milk substitute and sweetener to taste. This beverage is a way to get the taste of coffee without the adrenaline rush. But don't drink too much of it before going to sleep. You might learn the hard way why the French call dandelion peace on lee. Wet the bed. The courage of a dandelion is yours and mine.